Okay, folks, uh, we're going to try to have a little fun today, since uh, eh, sometimes the time for seriousness passes. Uh, so, what I am going to do is I am going to draft, premiere draft, as uh, somewhat usual, and um, except I'm not going to draft. I'm going to let the bots that we've all marveled at for the last year and a half as we've played Arena and we're, we're the, got past cards that were like, what, what, how did you ever pass this card? You bots are so dumb and so consistently exploitable when you can always get the gate stack and have a three mana Wrath of God and three mana 7-7 seven, seven Trample Vigilance. Like it's, you know, and in M19, you could always get uh, five heart piercer bows. And it was just kind of ridiculous. So we're going to let the bots draft this for us. I guess it's just one bot, not bots. Uh, we're going to draft against other people. And we're going to see what kind of pile we get. And then I'm going to try to win some games with it. Um, so. Sounds... Like an interesting intellectual experience, whether or not it's any fun or not, we'll find out. And I'm going to try my best to have fun. So let's just go ahead and jump in there, and uh, we'll 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 see how the bots are feeling. Kind of the one downside of this is that we do have to wait for like the timer to, to go all the way down. So it's going to like really slow down the draft for the other people. I kind of feel bad about that. Okay. Well, if they don't take this mythic, I'm going to be a little bit pissed off in terms, just in terms of my collection. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, just an excellent card. Um, you know, it kind of does, get, does a nice little Tarmogoyf impression being like a 2-mana 4-4 four, four in the late game. Not on turn 2. Um, but it also can sacrifice things, very nice activated ability, so on and so forth. So, like I said, we have to wait for the timer to go all, or almost all the way down. It has to go down to the last five seconds before it pops up what it's going to auto-select. I would say it's either Fiend Artisan or Blood Curdle. Like, Blood Curl's the only reasonable alternative. Semi-reasonable. Gemstone Recluse and Space Godzilla. Very fine cards. Okay, it does want to take the Mythic. Good, I appreciate that. Okay, next up. I feel like I would probably take the Blood Curdle. Rudy Molux also very, very good. Uh, I like the Heat Ponder a good bit. Divine Arrow's fine removal spell. The one mana cycler is pretty pretty primo. And then a couple solid green cards here. Um, but I would definitely take the Blood Curdle in this spot. Yeah. Rudy Mullock's Mul also quite good. If I didn't take the if the bot doesn't take the Blood Curdle or the Rudy Mullock, I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. It's probably gonna take like King Caesar, which is just a pretty terrible card, honestly. But, we'll see. We shall see indeed. Um, you can also see it wouldn't be too offended if it took the ram through, or the humble naturalist, because they're both still on color. Um, okay, what's this? I think blood curdle. Okay, so far I'm on the same page as the bots, which is a little bit alarming. Uh, I'm still here, but I still want the auto picks. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how what would happen if I didn't click that thing. So we'll keep keep going here. Okay, this is where things really diverge quite a bit. Um, so like Dark Bargain's a good card, uh, definitely fine. Um, probably what I'd take just to stay on color with the, with the fir first two picks, which were quite strong. Outside of that, the cards get 
like none of these cards are, are particularly exciting. Um, I like the, the Frost Lynx is fine, Sandworm's fine. Um, that's really kind of about it. The uh, Bogo wants it to go white. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It's not the worst card. But this this is kind of underwhelming. It seems like it, like a. In most sets, you know, a five mana, three four flyer with upside would be pretty strong. Especially like the upside's pretty, you know, it's pretty easy to have a human in your in your white deck, particularly. But um, in this set, it's just not 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 nearly strong enough. This set is much stronger than, than most. Okay, uh, I'd definitely take me a space Godzilla here, but let's see what the bot wants. <laughs> yeah, the packs are starting to uh, build up on us. Which is, uh, I do apologize to the other people in, in, in this draft, but, uh, you know, in the name of science, okay, I'm all naturalist isn't the worst. So I guess we're just going to keep doing this every other pick. Okay, well, um, okay, I'd be happy if the bot took either the dead weight or the ram through. The, those would be fine selections. Uh, I guess Drath Healer is not, not pretty pretty fine too. I'm, I'm not a fan of the unpredictable cyclone. It is, I mean, it cycles, so there's that. But other other than, than just cycling, uh, it's hard to set up a situation where it's oh boy, oh boy. All right, all right. Rare draft it is. <sighs> Okay, well, this is uh, not a great pack for us. Rock Slide's probably the best card in the pack. Uh, it's definitely not really on plan with anything else here. So, had the wrong view up. Didn't make a ton of difference. Um, so this should be. F just, I don't know. I probably just take the rock slide here. Stay a little bit open. Okay, so I'm take the rock slide. But, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so I would probably take the bush meat poacher here. I'm just not a fan of the easy prey. Like, I know it cycles, but it's pretty rare that there's a 2-mana, two, 2 CMC or less creature that you really need to kill. And it's not like, you're never getting the mana advantage when you easy prey something, because the, the thing they they cast either costs more or 2 mana, unless it's some sort of, you know, weird expensive token. Like, it is good against um, the Ominous Seas when it makes an 8-8 Kraken token. That, it's good there, but outside of that, it's pretty rare. Especially... In this set, honestly, where you end up with a lot of uh, small creatures that get mutated onto, and you almost always put the bigger creature on top so it doesn't work. Like, almost, almost always. So, humble, or sorry, starting development was indeed a little startling because that's like nowhere near what, uh, what kind of pile we're working on here. Um, I was told the bots kind of did settle into a lane, but it's possible for these purposes it's just taking like the quote best card. Um, I'd be happy if it took the stinger here. Uh, no, it wants the tigerella. Okay. Yeah. Things do do pick up a little bit as you get in here, so I won't have quite as much time to fill, which is fine. Um, so here. Uh, it's probably going to take another Tigerilla, which is a, it's, it's a card. Uh, for better friendship wouldn't be terrible. Brushwag. Fine. What are we looking at? Tigerilla? 
Tigerilla, it is. We're gonna, we're gonna have to uh, make it work. Okay, uh, I would probably take the Bloodfell Caves in this situation. My guess is it's gonna take Divine Arrow. Is this kind of the quote, kind of best card? Honestly, they might take the Blade Vanish. The bots might like the Blade Vanish a lot. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, I would definitely take the Caves here. Get a little fixing. No, it wants the Divine Arrow. All right. Fair enough. And we are now, none of these things are great. A corpse Charm's kind of the best pick here. Let's see if it tries to stay on color and take this Frenzied Raptor. The Wrath of the Enemy isn't good, but it, you can get them. I guess Corpse Charm does work well with our um, Fiend Artisan. Space Godzilla is still in the pack. That's, uh, I mean, maybe I overrate this card, but I, ha I have, I don't know, I maybe played it once and probably didn't draw it very often, but it is a pretty strong card. Um, to death touch, or draw a card, give something death touch, uh, has gotten me sometimes, especially I somewhat frequently will just do the, the gang block and just you know, they're attacking me with something, I don't know what combat trick they have, and, you know, they're attacking me with a 5-5, five, five, and I just put, you know, like, 11 power and toughness in front of it, and they, um, and then they do that, okay. Let's see if they want to give us another mythic. It is base red. I have not, um... Not been too impressed with this particular apex. It's a little strong, or a little uh, finicky to get get working. Like the is just as a three color thing, um, it's hard to cast that reliably on turn three. This is the one of the apex that you want to like cast on turn three and then mutate onto, preferably. But. Um, this is not a good pack for us in our colors. Like Sanctuary Smasher is fine, Marmoset's fine. Par Parcel Beast is a really strong card, but kind of far away from our colors. Um, so what do you think, Mr. Bot? Or I should not I should not gender the bots. That's that's unfair of me. It's not just Mr. Bot. I guess I being heavily influenced by the old uh, Mr. Robot show, which I've heard good things about, but have not actually watched. So here, I, I kind of want to take the Stinger. I have a feeling I might take this Hellbonder, which would be fine. So the Mentor is pretty good. We'll see. This is definitely Feels like a pretty train wrecky draft, which is not su unsurprising. Uh, I am, this is ranked, but I am at the bottom of platinum right now since I haven't played since the, the reset uh, for the season. So I can't de rank with this pile. I can just incinerate the 10,000 gold that I have. Migratory Great Horn. Okay, we do need some fixing. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, interesting. Not seeing a lot going on here. Um, I do want. I, I still really want to want this fiend artisan to work, so I kind of want the boot nipper. This the fiend artisan also works pretty well with the night squad commando. If you want to do that, um, these two are pretty just good cards, but they're a little bit more. Uh, synergy based than than what we're set up for so let's see it could also I guess we're a little bit more red than anything else so if they took the forbidden friendship that would be something okay it wants the boot nipper all right all right uh, let's nip that in the butt eerie ultimatum okay well we are playing a pile deck with some graveyard synergies. So that's 
a reasonable pick. It is going to be hard to cast with our one dual land being Tranquil Cove, but we do have a Great Horn. Uh, Humble Naturalist does not work with that in any way whatsoever, but, um, okay, not in, in, in a way, yes, it is a permanent card that will go to the graveyard and to be returned with the Eerie Ultimatum, so on that level, it does work with it, but in terms of being able to actually cast the spell, it does not work. And we're, 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 we're drafting, okay. Solid, solid. Oh boy. I think it's going to take this col Colossification, which I don't think this is a good card. Like, it is kind of like seven mana. I'm not saying plus 20, plus 20 to one of your creatures isn't good. But when you do it for seven mana and you can't attack with it the turn you do it, it really gives your opponent a lot of chances to interact with you before they would potentially die. It does give them the potential to die. Also, uh, in the right situation, uh, if you just need to tap one blocker to get in for lethal, you can do it to their creature. So that that, that is kind of sweet. Okay. Um, would really want the bots to either take the ram through or this far finder or fertilid for some fixing. Uh, my preference, I think, would probably be the Far Finder, but any of those would be fine. Monster Step is pretty poop. Um, it does cycle, so I say that a lot about cards that I don't. I don't want to hurt its feeling. Like, yes, that is, that that is a big old foot. It is scary, and life is best taken one step at a time. What did it take? I wasn't. Uh, oh, it took the Farfinder. That's great. Okay. It's probably going to rare draft again this uh, Song of Creation, but that's not a good card. It's just, like, I don't know. Really hard to get this to work, even if you do start going off with it. Uh, it's not a, man uh, a, a optional draw, so you can, like, deck yourself pretty good. All right, uh, I would like to take the Fertilid, take this uh, Primeval Champion, Godzilla. That would be acceptable as well. But with this pile, I would really like this fixing. So. Also, like I could start to kind of build the deck uh, here, but I, I don't know if that's going to... Okay, Leech. So a legal card. Oh, I would slam the Strangle Hollow so fast. I don't know if it's going to value that high enough. My guess is not. My guess is it's going to take this Cavern Whisperer, which is a fine card. But uh, with this pile, we really need some fixing, and it wants to take a Whisper Squad. I do not want to be taking a Whisper Squad at this point. But we all got to learn sometime. This, uh, you know, the, the draft bots do not generally play the decks that they actually draft, so they're not getting the best feedback. But we're going to try and fix that today. We're going to try and figure out how to, uh, how to get this, get this chunking along just right. Okay, let's take the sandworm, sandworm or honey mammoth at least, forbidden friendship. I would not forbid that particular selection, but okay. At least it didn't take the basic swap. So, what was that? This, okay, I would really like to have this Blossom of Sands, but it might want us to grab this second Whisper Squad. Yeah, it's on uh, like some squad goals. Okay. okay, Rugged Highlands, I would like. Honey Mammoth uh, is also a fine card, but fixing would be my preference. But my preference does not matter because I have ceded all authority. Uh, okay, please. Well, whatever. Brushwag generally is better than Spinnerets, but whatever. They're both one-man spells. Not great. Okay. 
take this basic mountain. Can't argue with this selection. That selection they got right. Okay. Hoping it, probably hoping it rare drafts me some fixing. Um, there's really not that much else great for us in here. Like actually, then it's like evolving wilds and migratory great horn would also be fine, and then like smasher bond are fine cards, but we're not super well set up to optimize that. That oh, was the. Um, hmm. I know timers uh, change as you go through packs, but I feel like this particular timer in pack three is pack three pick one is slower than. Uh, Pack one, pick one. Okay, what do you want? You want me good, good, good. Take the fixing. Okay. Really hope it doesn't take this offspring's revenge, but I think it will. I would want to be taking this migratory great horn. Uh, if they took the fire prophecy, I wouldn't argue too hard, but. Hmm. So this is a base red and then I'm either blue or white. So I think we turn into a green black base base green black deck, which is surprising since I did not actually draft this. Um and I am very Golgari at heart. Not always Okay, it's gonna it's gonna run a draft. Well, at least that's 20 gems, but that card is that card is something. Okay. I want to take the Dire Tactics here, I believe. At least you could take the Rock Slide too. Some fixing would be fine, but we're, um, yeah. This is going to be interesting, as they say. A lot of interesting decisions these uh, the bot has made for us. Come on, Dire Tactics are fixing. Okay, Dire Tactics is very strong card. I don't know how well we're set up to work with it. What do we get? Yeah, we have currently four humans. Meh. Whatever. Okay. Um, I would want to take the land, just because I like actually to cast my spells, but the bot does not cast spells. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon. Hellbonder isn't the worst card? Okay. Hellbonder it is. Fair enough. Walk her in. I uh, would be very happy to take this Blossoming Sands. I don't think the Pyrotry is fixing enough. Oh. Barring the Sands, I would take the Cavern Whisperer. So. That would be my selection. But, survey says. Percent of the bots go with the tiger. Meow. That was not a very meow. That was more of a. I mean, it is a cat. It's so since this is all nonsense anyway. I, I am displeased with the fact that they group like everything from garrison cat to lions and tigers. Uh, you know, whatever, all, all the different big cats as just creature type cat. It makes like cat tribal a reasonable thing you can do. But if you want, uh, as I, I am definitely a dog person. Uh, cats, cats are fine too, but I, I, I love dogs. I love dogs so, so much. Um, see, this is a, this is a cat and this is a cat. Really? Meanwhile, if you're more canine, focused, you have uh, both wolves and foxes and not dogs, cannot have a dog. 
but you can have hounds. You have a lot of hounds, which is really dumb because hound is a subset of dog. And really, you know, dogs, foxes, uh, I don't know if coyotes are creature type. I haven't, I haven't checked. Coyotes are, uh, coyotes, wolves, are really not fully speciated. They, they, they can, like, inter, interbreed to a certain extent. I'm not sure if foxes can, but I know, like, do dogs, coyotes, and wolves are all close enough they can interbreed. So, uh, to have them all be different creature types is ridiculous when, like, you, you, can, you cannot have a garrison cat mate with uh, a patilla tiger. Patilla, whatever. You can't have a tiger with a house of a cat. It doesn't work. Although, I guess, you can't really have a, have a wolf mate with a chihuahua. We could have a, a wolf could mate with, uh, you know, a golden retriever. That, that would be workable. Um, okay, we're going to adaptively shimmer. Card I have not cast <laughs> in this format. We'll see how this ends up. We are definitely getting getting into some stuff. Good news is our card wasn't terrible. Looking at that, Frenzied Raptor is a pretty horrible card. Not happy with this solution. Bad bot. Bad. Bad bot. Bad. Bad bad. It's okay, bot. It's not your fault. You never cast any magic magic cards, so it's hard for you to understand which magic cards are good to cast. Oh, please take the fixing. Please, I would like to cast my spells. We're, I think we're green blight. I don't know, we might be jund base, based on what they've uh, done to us. Yep, okay. We have been fully junded. Fair enough. Last pick Sanctuary Smasher. It's a pretty reasonable card. Okay, the good news is apparently we already had a lot of those things, so we got some gems back. It's fine. Okay. So. We want to be green as our primary color, and then. Looks like green, black, right? Maybe green, red? We do not want this card. This this card is very hard to to do. Like the fact that you can't it doesn't wor actually work because you get with uh, like Farfinder, which is kind of the best ETB effects in the format. Um, because it only gets red, white, or black creatures. And yeah, it's a it's a tough one. Okay, cycle one is probably just gonna make the deck. This is reasonable. I think we are gonna try and cast this eerie ultimatum. Anyway, so if we're green black base, what do we not want? Let's cut everything that's not green and black, and then we'll. Figure out where we are at. Uh, that's fine. Mm, this this is just kind of a phantasmal or phantom warrior because it's we don't have anything else with menace. Although we can can give things menace, um, and can't be blocked except by three or more creatures. Like it's. Phantom Warrior is a little overstated because it, you know you get board stalls and each player's got five or six creatures and then you get a two-two, but it, it in a lot of situations it's really hard to have three creatures available to block. So let's cut that for now. This I don't think is just going to make the cut. Boot Nipper's fine. That's fine. That's probably something that will splash. Uh, cycles for one. Probably we're not getting there. Two dire tactics, okay. That's pretty reasonable. Don't need a turtle. Don't think we were interested in having exactly two whisper squads in our, our deck. If we had three or four, we could maybe talk into it. Brushwag 
is probably going to be good enough to make the cut because this deck is pretty bad, but we do not make a good use of it because this is the only thing that mutates in our deck. Is that right? I guess we can use the brush wag with the Fiend Artisan to just tutor ourselves up a uh, Space Godzilla when we get up to 9 mana. And probably don't really love that Blitz Leech, but we've got a better fat. We're going to give this classification a, a, a chance. It's just kind of. Ooh, we got the combo. Yeah. Classification, sudden spinnerets. That is a combo. Um, so we have the Abzan Trion. We're not going to be. There's a chance we end up playing starting development just to cycle for one, but probably not. And this is currently. Uh, that is 17 lands. We're probably gonna be seven. Probably gonna be 18 lands, honestly. Like our cards are not good, so being able to at least cast them consistently is, is uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, quick check. Okay, we only have one human in our double dire tactics deck, so that's that's a touch sketch. Touch sketch. wouldn't so I want to splash this rock slide I think we can afford to do that with uh, just just this just one mountain basically for, with far finder and migratory great horn um, not a combo with the eerie ultimatum I will grant you that I grant you that and Yeah, I guess we're gonna get have a slightly larger um, white splash. We're gonna run this Marshall and the Divine Arrow. Marshall is good with the Dire Tactics, so there's that. And then we're looking at adding like a Howl Bonder or two, I guess. Or maybe the oh, Vantasaur probably. We Vantasaur and and this. Hmm. Dentosaur is good with the Eerie Ultimatum. I guess we don't need the Sudden Spinnerets. I think I might rather just have another creature. We're pretty light on creatures, right? Yeah, 12 creatures. We don't need that. It does combo with the Classification, but oh well. So I can either run, I think, a second Halbonder or an 18th land. Our curve is so fat um, that I'm just going to go ahead and run an 18th land, I'm pretty sure. So if you're fixing, we have one Absent Try, I'm good. Farfinder, good. Migratory Great Heron, good. Nothing else. No Evolving Wilds or any of the duels that we could have gotten, you know, 12th pick. Because Bot did not want to cast spells. So uh, I'm okay with one mountain for sure. And then this is probably not the right selection. We are splashing the plane or, or the white cards. Though they we are splashing five of them. Six of them, including a double white one. So, but I still think we're going to try and get away with, uh, I think we're going to have to try and get away with just two planes in the Triome and then the, fat, the ability to fetch it. That does give us, gives, give us, gives us five sources, which is not great, but give it a shot. And so that leaves us, uh, I am running Impulse. Am I running Impulse if we're a Creature Light? I mean, that is kind of a, a way to help fix our mana. And 12 creatures isn't the worst. We do have some pretty big, beefy creatures, at least. And Naturalist. Oh, Naturalist is a source for 
uh, casting the Marshal or the Vantasaur at least. Um, anyway, so I want to get up to nine green sources. So with the Triome and eight forests. And then Yeah, I still think we need to get up to at least nine nine green sources. We could try and skip skimp and go go to eight and then we'd have eight black sources as well. Your ultimatum is triple black. All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip a little bit. Like I said, this, the, even with sixteen or eighteen lands, rather, uh, this is still kind of sketchy. But we're gonna we're gonna. This is like not totally unplayable. It's not good, but it's not completely unplayable. So. Let's uh, jam this, why don't we? Uh, quickly take a little snip of this, since we do have, particularly as we do have a, sorry, second, redo the snip snip. We do have the uh, Fiend Artisan to uh, tutor up, you know, whatever we want. Sometimes, a lot of times we roll up the Honey Mammoth, I guess, Sandworm, can't get Cluster Petition, Space Godzilla. There's a chance we might want a Day Squad Marshal a lot of times. Helps us get our dire tactics on without being too, too painful. But, Let's see if we can uh, win a game or two. I had... I mean, this is something that happens in every format, but particularly in this format, I've had decks that are like, oh, this deck is amazing. I'm, I'm going to crush, crush this so much. Um, and then... Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Like, it's got... He doesn't need a green source. But I guess we're not great on these hitting. Eh, we're not terrible. But it's got some lands. It's got to even cast a binder. So, oh, this is the, the cycling menace. This is going to be the cycling menace. in the least. Let's go ahead and put a swamp. I think, like... So... We'll, we'll, we'll think about this on the turn. I might fire off this corpse turn. Um, just to try and... Like, I guess what we're looking for is the, the Farfinder. Farfinder would be very good for us. It would allow us to a, get, a, get a green source, and then with that green source, we can use the migratory Greathorn to get further spells. Uh, we aren't under the world's greatest amount of pressure, but like, we don't have any plays lined up, so I'm gonna fire this up. And we got Space Godzilla. Okay. That at least gives us a green And let's do that now. Let's see if we get. Okay, 
sound of rain lands. That's not terrible. Things are getting real. Yeah, we're taking seven. Um, they missed a land drop, so they definitely have another cycler. Do I want to dire tactics? And take four from this. We're just not that likely to draw a human. I guess we're gonna give that a shot. Doesn't feel good. We get to cast two spells here. So we can loot Nicker for life. Mm -hmm. Actually, do I want to just cast the Great Horn or do I want to mutate it? I think I might want to mutate. And then. Just hope they don't have a removal spell. Like we need to get a second green source to cast this classification. We need to. Yeah. We are just dead if we have a removal spell here, but I don't think we're ever beating any kind of removal spell anyways. Just pacify and attack for the win. Yep. Alright. Well, good news is I'm blaming the bots. I'm blaming the bots, I'm blaming the shuffler, and everybody but me. better. Okay, we get to we get to cast the Almighty Brushwag, so can't lose. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play Brushwag. Probably even sneak in quickly. Offer the trade. If they can mutate onto this, it's something we should definitely do. Cycle in case we draw a trio. Not this. this. the naturalist. Yeah, let's just cast it. It wasn't really wasn't really helping us cast any spells. Um, 
Um, I guess we're gonna Farfinder and get a planes. Uh, I should not have played with this. This doesn't really super matter. Take action. Planes. Assuming that having access to the uh, dire tactics is more important than having access to the dark spawn. I'm not sure if that's actually correct. Okay. Uh, so do I want to dire tactics this? Probably I do. Might want to blood curdle it instead for mana efficiency, but I think I'm gonna pass and let them try and get them to mutate onto it again. First attack. Also exiles in case they had the uh, unlikely aid for indestructible. Alright, well let's let's turn. See what we turn up. Nothing great. Do I want the Vantasaur and actually cast it? Do I want the far I guess I probably want the far finder. Let's be turn on my rock slide. I mean, double check we haven't, uh, we haven't nailed the mountain. Creatures are too bad for them to kill. And certainly can't kill. Still gonna play this out. Planes away from being able to cast uh, Eerie Ultimatum. Sure. Lord Dracus gets back Fire Prophecy, which kills my Boot Nipper. And lets them s throw away a card. Which they probably have some pretty bad cards. cast that. Yeah, we've got exactly eight mana. Um, let's go ahead and get attack. Don't have any option to block. Yep. Very much. What should we do with that? Fire prophecy. Prophecy you ain't got shit on Space Godzilla. Okay. 
Okay, that's a lot of manual tapping. I'm gonna attack with this boot nipper. Oh man. We're in the we're in a spot of trouble. If they have another mutator, we're just kind of dead. I think we just go ahead and attack. We're effectively trading Space Godzilla for this unlikely aid. Awkward, that we just take it. And that is a lot of damage. Let's just go ahead and play out another lethal threat. I think I'm gonna fire up the single for now. This is They are happy with the cards that have damage. Interesting. Sandworm. Sure. No attacks. So, question of whether I want to trade effectively the Rumbling Rock Slide or the Space Godzilla for the Sterex. I think I'd rather. Uh, trade this rock slide and really hope they can't just buy it back. The real problem is that this is going to keep drawing the cards. So we got to try to make something happen sooner rather than later. Destruction is in our deck. That's not a very good card. But why? Why did you put that card in my deck? Right. Well, the good news is we can cast Eerie Ultimatum. We're just going to have to slam. I guess slam with the Space Godzilla, force the trade here, and hope that clears the way for Sandworm next time. I guess they could just chump. Man, I'm not feeling great. Like, I don't want to, if I attack with both, they, oh, yeah, I don't want to attack with either of them, actually, because then Nipper just jumps in here, blocks the Space Godzilla, and Sandworm dies to the Sterics. So we just have to play a hand and pass. And probably lose. Kind of hope maybe they just don't have a way to get through when they deck themselves. Or, I mean, we can draw our Eerie Ultimatum now, which would. Especially after the attack step, do a lot of stuff. So that's one of the 15 cards here. Uh, we'll definitely block trade for the bar finder. I'm just gonna buy it back, probably. Yeah. Get 
deck that we are going to be selling a bunch of cards off the top of the deck. Victoria Graveborn, don't need any mana fixing. No deck thinning would be fine, but I'm pretty sure we just play a 3 4. We have actually gotten all our mana items. Now down to 10 cards. Forces them to use their uh, unlikely aid. them and then the next turn. Uh, and that. Oh, they might deck themselves. Depending on how many uh, permanents they have left from the deck. Yeah, they're close. Not quite. on our own terms. Mutual destruction is in our deck. Uh, I think I would rather have this Hellbounder than that. Just we're not well set up to. We already have one thing to sacrifice outlet, kind of. Extra creatures, this helps with the dire tactics, helps with the impulse. So. Let's see if we're uh, destined for the Oath here, if we can squeeze a win in. I'd like to get a win. Okay, whatever. Our deck is not by any means good, but it's actually not the worst. It's something that you can play if you're feeling frisky. I guess we're feeling frisky. This hand is fine, quote unquote. So we'll see how we want to do it, but we do get to the Farfinder and to Great Horn. We should have uh, acceptable mana anyway. I guess we probably want a far finder. Actually, 
We've got other white sources in the deck. This this is a this is a real problem. But let's Great Horn here. Take the over on the So that will allow us to unlock uh, our The ultimatum. This this adventurer is just very annoying. But we put it on even. It's got protection from like almost all the removal spells in the format, and obviously you know half of most of the creatures. stuff going on. Alright. So I feel like this turn I want to play Nipper Naturalist and Dire Tactics. No. That works, yeah. You have to be a little careful about our tapping that works. So we do that. Uh, do we have attacks? Like they can just stalemate this one and then I guess the Great Horn does some stuff. We can't really block this guy the way the other the creatures were holding back potentially our one power, so Let's see if we can get it for three points of damage here. Forgot this had vigilance for a minute, but I have been reminded. Touch. Yeah. yeah, this venture is just like impossible to deal with. Almost every, like I said, almost every removal spell in the format is uh, is even cast in spell cost. There's like flame spill it uncommon. Yeah, that's exiled. Something if they want it now, but tap step. That was not great. Not great. Uh, I guess I don't really want to trade this for Farfinder. this for Divine Arrow. Yeah. 
we're in a tough spot. Um, all right, we're just gonna do this. So we're still second black or white source away from being able to uh, cast our ultimatum, which wouldn't be anything in this particular situation. Combat. Probably should have done this last turn. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this server somehow. Be better to do it last turn. Uh, actually, let's get fancy and do that after damage. So that's not such a little trick, but if it was power and toughness, I will still die. Get in, so they have to triple block, which means we could trade it for the officer. But this is triple. I didn't know if it, this was it or this was it, but I knew it was bad. So my only option would be to go like that and as a chump. Yes, we're on the no blocks. It's hard to see a way to win this game. It's pretty hard. Also, another even mana cost. It is large. And gets tapped by this. Okay, this one. We've got a kind of a. Oh, and they just have. You know, they just tap the Hyle Bond and win. Instead, and they can just do it on their turn. Attack, cast this, make them see the line to kill us. That's, uh, pretty easy to kill us. Oh, Sparky, why did you do this to us? Tap that? You should tap that. I'm dead. Well, there's a reason uh, people complain about the bot drafts because the the it is you don't end up with uh, something similar. So, oh, quickly, let's add this to. My deck. I'm gonna try. Maybe we still got a pack. Already, I have like very quickly gotten all the rares. So this is either a wild card or a mythic. Nice. Um, so let's see if I can challenge Sparky with this deck. I 
don't think I can. Alright, where'd it go? Decks. Draft deck there. That's not legal to challenge Sparky with. Well, boo. That stinks. Well, let's uh, bump this up to 60 cards. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can still get get, get, get at Sparky. Okay, so we're not a Cloud Piercer. This is, yeah, this is playable. These are playable. It's playable. 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 I don't want to add 13 lands. I probably am going to add 10 lands, but uh, I guess these tigers aren't the worst. Blood Sneech. Sure. Mm -hmm. I um all right I'm not I'm not gonna cheat yet but let's see how we end up here so we're gonna have like three and three I'll leave that uh, two more mountains and one plains okay sure let's I already have a deck of this now Sparky's Bane is the name of this deck. You can play it now, I guess. I'm not going to hide the focus of the here. It is the very noble Sparky. Hey, Fiend Artisan, you draw a mythic. Nice. I'm your spark. Let me show you just what you're capable of. to spark Okay, do I want to... I guess I could just cast the three horn. It's probably better than Fiend Artisan. This, this deck has a lot of burgers though, so... I guess mutating to get another white source would be fine. No attacks. Alright. So I kind of want to sacrifice the Great Horn to get a Plains to unlock my Dire Tactics. Or, sacrifice the Great Horn, get Farfinder. You can do this. Thank you. I appreciate your, your uh, candor. And then we can try and sacrifice the Farfinder later. Ever think about the multiverse? Uh. Like, Hey, that's wild! Uh, yep. Sacrifice you. Go get me a far finder. Far finder gets me planes. Sure. And we'll not 
block. And then we're going to kill this vindictive. Murder! Most foul. Aren't as bad. Mm. Yeah, probably block there and then exile the centipede. Take three. Ooh, we can use the spinnerets to make this a two two five or a two six and then block the centipede. Nice. Leave him untaps, right? I didn't forget that. I don't know if they have any light rod in their deck. Probably this is the way to murder, you mean? Okay. We're hanging in there against Sparky. We're hanging in. Mutual destruction. Not really what we're looking for. Also, we're still two black sources and a white source away from the castle of tomato. Yeah, never mind. And is that something I should lean towards? Or should I just try and cycle and get some action? We can cast everything else in our deck with that one ultimatum. And, I mean, we're playing 60 cards because Sparky has standards. We did it. We fucking did it. Brushwag in the house. Uh, because we have Brushwag, which is what that means. Not abilities. So we'll attack. Whoa! That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, Sparky. Taste it. Taste it, Sparky. So vindictive you are. So vindictive. Uh, five, nine, twelve. So this is lethal? Or Our auto tapper, don't fail me now. I'm a little concerned about your auto tapper. Let me seem okay. Ah! Ah! I think we're gonna beat Sparky with a butt deck. Is it possible? It's possible. It's happening. It's happening. Time to put lethal damage on the set. Yeah, we did it. Want to play again? Uh, no. This is a silly game. This is a silly game. Um, let's 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 try and.